Gigantosaurus was one of the biggest terrestrial predators of all time from any animal grouping. The enormous Carcharodontosaurus has been featured in documentaries, TV shows, books, and movies, with its most high-profile appearance being its recent inclusion in Jurassic World Dominion. The first few minutes of the film show a late Cretaceous scene with pterosaurs, sauropods, a chicken parrot, and a panoply of other dinosaurs, including a Gigantosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, duking it out. We can note a marked size difference between the two, with the slightly fuzzy Tyrannosaur on the smaller side of things. Other than the fact that these two theropods lived millions of years and thousands of miles apart, what's wrong with this picture? Well, maybe nothing. There's a case for Gigantosaurus actually being that big. Everybody knows that Giga is one of the largest predatory dinosaurs described. Ever since its discovery in 1995, it's consistently been in the top tier of megatheropods, along with T-Rex, Carcharodontosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Mapusaurus. Size estimates since then have varied wildly, however, ranging from 4 to 13 tons. As measurement techniques like graphic double integration and LIDAR scanning have evolved in paleontology, those estimates have stabilized somewhere in the middle. Just a disclaimer, this video is called the size limits, not size average, so you're getting what you pay for. We're about to calculate the absolute biggest gigantic source possible, using the power of friendship, or basic math. We're going to use paleoartist Dan Folk's most recent skeletal, shout out to his reconstructions by the way, his stuff is incredible, which uses scaling from its close relatives, Concavenator and Carcrodontosaurus. This reconstruction of the holotype, MUCP is actually larger than previous estimates at 12.57 meters long. Scaling up from Fernoy's GDI of an earlier, shorter reconstruction yields a mass of 7,825 kilograms. Keep in mind that we're factoring in Laramendi et al. 2020's higher specific gravity values. For more on that, see my other video. We're treating this 7,800 kilo boy as an average specimen, and we're going to do something wild. For this maximum size calculation, we're not going to include Giga's other specimen. Why? Because it's a fragmentary dentary that causes controversy at best. Random Dinos does have an excellent GDI for that specimen, but we're going to use a different method to calculate Gigantosaurus's maximum size. Chickens. Yup, chickens. According to Roman Avital 2014, chickens are genetically the most similar to non-avian theropods, making them the best comparison among extant animals for population mass dynamics. We can treat the 7.8 ton giga as an average, um, chicken, plugging it into the top of the bell curve. In this study of chicken mass variants, the difference between the average chicken and the 100th percentile chicken was 1.36. In other words, the most absolutely yoked chicken out there was 136% the size of an average individual. Applying that percentage to the giga holotype gives us an absolute species-wide maximum of 10,000. 642 kilograms. That's as big as the highest estimates for Scotty, the heaviest T-Rex known. It's like two African elephants combined into a murder giant. Now keep in mind that chickens are still not a perfect comparison due to some ecological differences, and by no means am I saying that we should expect to uncover a 10-ton giga. The point of this mathematical exercise is to demonstrate how wildly individuals can vary within a theropod population. We could apply the same logic to any other theropod, and honestly, we should. Simply take the average mass of a fully grown adult and multiply it by 1.36. I recommend trying it out with other megatheropods like T. rex and Spinosaurus to see what you get. Go ahead and put your results in the comments below. To summarize, while Dominion's anachronistic portrayal of the Giga and Rex certainly doesn't reflect their average sizes when compared to one another, there should be enough variability within the Gigantosaurus population to breach the fabled 10 ton mark. Granted, that individual would be the absolute peak of the species, kind of the Giga equivalent of Gred Kovacs, but it could theoretically exist, and probably did. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode of Size Limits.